Hi Leos, this is your reading for the 8th through the 15th. Let's see who this person is for you guys this week. Keep in mind, this energy is fluent and um, it can change from week to week, day to day. Just depends, alright? Let's see, who is this person for my Leo? Who is this? Who? Okay, could be Pisces. I feel Gemini as well. Somebody that you are currently not speaking with. I felt like I need to do another shuffle for some reason for you guys. Why is that upside down? But I feel like this is a two of swords, but it's in reverse. So somebody has decided something here. Somebody feels like they already know the deal. They already know the truth. Libra energy, okay? Whatever that means. Again, Libra, Taurus, Aries energy. Um, I feel like this person is quite confident in the information that they already have in front of them. Um, they're confident on the about the path that they're currently on. This person feels like they have their shit together. Okay, this could be a mother, mother figure, <clears throat> or somebody with just feminine energy um, that is very caring. Okay, and what I mean by caring, let me take that back because this person doesn't necessarily have to be someone that um, uh, is very compassionate and, and loving necessarily, but this person is responsible, I should say, for um, a lot of people. Okay, they take on the mothering role or the fathering role, <clears throat> and um, they take on the responsibility of other people. Then we have the Six of Cups energy. Um, this is somebody from your past, somebody that you probably have known for a very long time. Okay, This is someone who um, you probably weren't just connected to on an emotional level, um, like you know, a sexual level. This is somebody that feels like family to you guys. Somebody that you spend a lot of time with. Um, you guys could actually share kids together, okay? Or either there's a blended family here involved. <clears throat> Scorpio energy. And the devil. Capricorn energy. This is a toxic situation um, that you guys have been in with this person. Maybe a codependent situation where both of you um, depended on each other for different things. Okay, it could be a financial situation, it could be a sexual situation, but I feel like there are definitely some addictions involved, maybe uh, somebody not being able to fully let go. Okay, <clears throat> Knight of Cups. Now, I feel like whoever this is, this person uh, can change up like that. They may love you one minute and the next minute they can't stand your guts, okay? <clears throat> Depending on what slight um, that they feel like you guys have done. What, um, it just depends from one day to the next. What, what you do can affect their mood and how they feel or anybody for that instance, okay? And then we have death here, Scorpio energy. Hmm. There's something that you've noticed about this person that has changed. And you've seen like slight changes in them over over a period of time. But um they're they're coming across as brand new to you. Like, you know, who are you? Is what I'm hearing some of you like saying about this person. Like who is who is this? You know, because they change just that much to you. Um, I feel like something has um, something has shifted. Also, in this situation with this person, um, there there's something about them that is totally transformed. There's also been an ending to a situation that you feel like you know maybe this was a long time coming. Um, maybe it was a severance of ties that you feel like has been a long time coming, <clears throat> but this is definitely somebody you guys have had an ending with, but I feel like it's, it's been something that's been in the making for a while. 
<clears throat> and then we have a ton of cups here. This is definitely a family situation. Somebody that um, you saw happiness with at one period in time. I feel like, you know, you guys thought this was going to be something and then this person just kind of flipped the switch on you. You still see something here. There's something that makes you feel like all these cards flipped over. There's something that, that makes you feel like this person's going to be hard for you to kind of totally let go of. Because you feel like there's something still there. For some of you guys, you're really holding on to the fact that um, there's something still here. There's something still here. I feel like a lot of you are holding your tongue. And there's something that makes you very angry about the situation with this person. And um, you're having a hard time letting go of your anger as well. You're holding your tongue. I'm definitely feeling like there's some anger. There's still an attachment here. Um, something that you feel like you cannot like get away from. And... I'm feeling like this this angry like feeling inside and you want to say something so badly but it's like you don't really have the opportunity to say it um, there, there's something here that's unsettling Capricorn energy is here Leo is here <clears throat> and any other air sign Gemini Libra Aquarius what does this person really want <clears throat> with Leo's. What do they really want with Leo? Hmm. Huh. I feel like this person wants to make something work with you. They wanna they wanna make something work with you. Or they want you to get something they want you to know that um, they have it together. They have it all figured out. They want you to know this. Gemini, Virgo energy. Scorpio as well. Then we have the King of Wands. This person wants to make something work with you. They want you to know that they've changed as well. But they also want you to show that you have an interest in them. Five of Cups. Definitely a relationship that was has ended here. Um, I feel like this person, if you guys left this person, I feel like this person wants you to regret leaving them, wants you to regret um, doing whatever it is that they feel like you guys have done to them. They want you to be sorry. They want you to recognize their worth. They want you to recognize that you could have been happy with them. But they're good now. But they're not that good because they, they, they're they still like um, depending upon you to make them feel like they are the ish, okay? Two of Wands. And they haven't let go. They haven't let go. They want to know that you guys have regrets about um, whatever it is that they feel like you've done to them. If you guys left them, they want you to see that you're missing out. For sure. Okay? So that's what I have for you, Aries Energy Bear. And um, I'll be sitting with you guys soon. Bye.